Hello viewers and welcome to a new series I'm starting called Smart Thunder. In this series I'm going to be showing you little, little nooks and crannies of War Thunder and helping you out with a variety of things including possibly how to make a skin, the CDK, and maneuvers in combat in actual War Thunder games. But for now I'm going to be helping you out with the War Thunder CDK. More specifically, I'm going to be helping you out with how to install the CDK, the damn thing that it is, full of bugs. To start with, what is the CDK? Well, the CDK is, stands for the Closed Development Kit, and it is what the developers at Gaijin use to make most of War Thunder. The CDK is a package you can download off the internet and was recently introduced in 1.43, I believe. The contents of CDK come in three packages, the Mission Editor, the Location Editor, and the Asset Viewer. I'll explain what these are later on in the video. For now, I'm going to show you how to download the CDK and set it up. This will be the first episode of the CDK from Smart Thunder. Let's begin. So we need to go to our Google search engine, Yahoo, whatever it is, and type in War Thunder CDK Download. This will bring up this section here called the Download War Thunder CDK. It's on the War Thunder Wikipedia page, its own version. If we go onto this, you'll see a spelling mistake, um, but you'll also see the versions of the CDK that have been released. And it was released for 1.43. Yes, correct. Let's get this 100% clear. If you do not download the most recent version of the CDK, you will never be able to start it up because the CDK will crash due to incompatibility with your most recent version of War Thunder and the CDK itself. The current version of this for this guide is the 11th of December, since that, that is the most recent version that they have released. I won't click on this, but you need to click on this to download it. I've already downloaded it, so I'll show you what it's like. Assuming you've managed to get your CDK downloaded, you'll now be able to see that the CDK will ask you where to install it and what language. You want to install it into your area here. This is your uh, local disk area and you want to go into it through your programs and in into War Thunder. It should appear here if you've installed it correctly. For Steam users you need to find where your uh, War Thunder folder is located and install it inside the War Thunder folder. So it looks like this. That's what it should read like. For Steam, it will have a variety of things in between uh, C and War Thunder, this little bit I've highlighted here, because that's just the way Steam goes when it installs things. Once you've installed the CDK, as it asks for, you'll get these three options. These are the main things you need to look out for. The Mission Editor, the Asset Viewer, and what should be the Environment Editor, but I don't know why it's called that instead. Maybe I've got something else, but that's not the point. The point is, at the moment, we're only interested in the mission editor. So we're going to click on that one, and it should open something like this. So when you've successfully opened the mission editor, this is what you should see. This is a map. This is Wake Island. Um, and this is here because last time I opened the mission editor, this is what I was playing around on. Um, but it should normally, naturally, open on Britain. And I'm going to show you how you change that um, now. So what you do, <coughs> excuse me, what you do is you go up to these three tabs here and you go to Scene View. Now for this example, I'm just going to set this up on a map, but I'm just setting this up on, I think I'll set it up on Stalingrad Winter for my next video. But you can set it up wherever you want to, um, wherever you're going to set up your your map. Um, let me just find, where is it? There it is. Right at the bottom. And whatever map you intend to make, whatever you're doing, whatever mission you are making on, you change that on your scene view and it will come up in this mission editor once it stops not responding. I am running this on a potato and I am using a different recording software right now. This is why it um, may sound a bit different. 
um, purely because uh, the other ones wouldn't do what I wanted them to do. So here it is, it's loading in now. Um, I can't really do much about it right now. But this, the crucial part about this is that this is not the actual map that you will play in unless you change some certain settings, which I'll get round to in a second. Okay, so in order to change the actual map that you'll be playing on, you need to open your properties. This is this tab here, and that appears when you go from scene view to mission editor. Just remove all of these extra boxes, and then open mission settings. You then want to go down to the mission. This is where you rename your uh, mission itself, and you change its location. Right now it's set to Britain. So if I was to open this, after doing some faffing around to get it to open, into War Thunder, it would actually load up the Britain map, which is not what we want. We want the Stalin Winter map. So what we need to do is find Stalingrad Winter map, which is here, and change that. And for the purposes of the next video I'm going to make, I'm going to call this uh, map MiG-3 uh, Intercept. That's what we'll call this uh, mission. And these categories are just things you'll see when you click on the uh, mission in the user missions or wherever you save it. And that's where you change it here, and that's its campaign, and we'll call it user missions for the sake of this. Don't need to worry about optional takeoff or anything like that. Its environment, this is the things it will actually uh, change. So we want it to be day and we want it to be clear. Uh, we'll change it to good. Um, yeah, and that's it. That's this mission. Uh, basically set out so you can do all the editing to the actual mission now um, so the last thing you need to do before you do anything else is a uh, new mission uh, which is probably gone ahead and changed my properties don't worry I'll just change it back to make three uh, intercepts we'll change the level to uh, Stalingrad winter wherever it was Winter. We'll just make sure we're still on Stalingrad Winter. Yeah, we are. Uh, environment, day, weather, good. We click off that and then we go to Mission Editor. Save Mission As. And give it a bit. Um, it's important that you save on a regular basis because this thing can crash often. Um, we'll go to War Thunder. We'll come out. We'll go to War Thunder go to user missions and call this MIG 3 intercept in here. Notice how it's a BLK, not anything else. And that's it. And ignore that, I don't know why it's doing that, but that's fine. <laughs> it's some things you just can't explain on here. So that's it for this video. Um, that's all I've got set out. Um, so now your mission, once you started messing around, which will be in the next video I make, is now set out. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, uh, please leave a comment and tell me that or drop a like. If you have any problems, do leave a comment and explain the problem underneath in the uh, YouTube comment section, in the live War Thunder forum uh, section, or in the community forum section of War Thunder, wherever I post this, and I will try and get back to it as soon as possible. In the meantime, I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.